Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and welcome to my review of the new film, Unfriended Dark Web. Now, what you need to know about this, first of all, is that this is a Bloomhouse production. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, you need to know that Bloomhouse is the production company behind such movies, uh, the likes of The Purge and Insidious and the upcoming Halloween. Like, this is, this is not a production company that does comedies. They do thrillers and horrors. Now, in this film, we meet a group of friends who get together and they have like their usual chat on Skype. You know, several of them get together and they chat and they're all across the world and whatever, whatever. Anyways, one of the guys in the group is a guy by the name of Matthias. Matthias? Matthias? Let's go Matthias. Anyways, Matthias is in the group and uh, wouldn't you know he has this laptop? Unfortunately, it's not his laptop. He saw, the, he saw it in the Lost and Found and decided he found it. Unfortunately, he brings the laptop home and then realizes shortly thereafter that the actual owner wants it back. Well, finders keepers maybe, but unfortunately, the owner is able to track what's going on with the laptop. So this is a very interesting film in the sense that I saw a report on CBS this morning several weeks ago talking about how easy it is to hack somebody's, you know, computer, their phones, how the computer, the excuse me, the camera on your laptop, somebody can hack into that and be able to see it. A lot of freaky deaky things going on out there. And this movie does absolutely nothing to calm your nerves. I don't want to give too much of the movie away because I actually found this is one of the few movies that didn't give a ton away in the trailer because it kind of went in a completely different direction. But what I will say is, is that this movie is somewhat of a wake up call to how easy it is to be hacked. And I think from that perspective, job well done. From a movie perspective, there are aspects of the film that I found to be pretty well done. The entire film seems to be the, 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 the Skype windows and the Skype chats and going through the, the, the messenger and, and what have you. What I will say is, is that you're gonna do a, a bit of reading in this film with what they're typing to each other, so you probably don't wanna take that last row in the back. What I will say also is that this was a pretty entertaining movie. Bloomhouse does a good job of bringing out the scary and they did a decent job with this one. Scariest movie of the year? No, but it's effective. Um, I also like seeing one of the stars from Get Out in this film. And just to give you a hint which one it was, no, 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 no. Her, she's back. Anyways, entertaining film, liked it, didn't love it. Um, the ending is, is, is decent, there's a good payoff. I think you're gonna enjoy the film, but again, every time something comes out, there's always this, oh, it's the scariest movie of the year, or it's the funniest movie of the year. This is just a decent movie. I would have been comfortable seeing it on Netflix, but I made the trip to the theater. Wasn't overly disappointed with that decision. I just don't necessarily know with everything else that out that's playing right now, if it's worth you going to the theater to see it. So let's just leave this at a C plus. Decent film, enjoyable, uh, pretty unknown cast for the most part, but I think they did a, a, a they did a, uh, a decent job. And if you go and check this movie out, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.